story to tell. Despite being a small island, Taiwan maintains a significant defense power. Taiwan's defense spending has always been highly appreciated internationally by its ability to maintain annual levels of 2 to 3 percent of GDP, equivalent to about 10 to 11 billion dollars. With this budget, Taiwan has many options in arms contracts with foreign countries, not to mention a system of defense industry factories that are considered advanced in the region. Due to certain implications from Beijing, some of Taiwan's plans to modernize its military through arms procurement contracts with foreign countries are often hindered and difficult to implement. A war with China is unlikely. Along with the strong patronage of the United States, Taiwan aims to use the Navy to protect its interests at sea. Although small in number, but these warships are very high quality. At present, the Taiwanese Navy owns a respectable fleet of warships up to 120 ships of all kinds. In particular, Kilang class is considered to be the most powerful warships of Taiwanese Navy. The lead ship of the class is Kilang, with the hull number is DDG-1801. Kilang, along with her three sister ships, is the largest destroyer and second largest ship in displacement ever in Republic of China Navy service. The vessels were built by English shipbuilding between 1978 and 1982 and were originally intended for the Shah of Iran's navy, a contract that ended abruptly after the Iranian Revolution in 1979. Ingalls completed the vessels for the US Navy as kit class destroyer. After their career in American service ended, the ships were upgraded and transferred to Taiwan under a foreign military sales program. Kilang was formerly the American Kit Class Destroyer, USS Scott, with a hull number DDG-995, which was decommissioned by the United States Navy in 1998. Scott was sold to the Republic of China Navy along with the other three Kit Class Destroyers. The first two ships were delivered to Taiwan in December 2005 and were named Kilang and Suao. The remaining two units were delivered in 2006 and named Shouqing and Ma Kong, respectively. Before being handed over to the Taiwanese Navy, Kilang underwent a reclamation and upgrade. Basic specifications of Kilang include 172 meters in length a beam of 17 meters and a draft of 9.6 meters. The standard and full load displacement are 7,289 tons and 9,783 tons, respectively. With the same size and displacement to the Ticonderoga ships, it can be said that Kilang is essentially a guided missile cruiser. Designed to conduct general purpose operations, Kilang, as well as her sisters, are capable of carrying out anti-air anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare. They can also support amphibious landing forces. The original purpose of the ship when built was to operate in the Persian Gulf quarters, so she features advanced air intake and filtration system in order to handle dust and sand. The Kilang is installed with a propulsion system, including four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines, generating a total capacity of 80,000 shot horsepower. These engines are located in two main engine rooms, drive two controllable, reversible pitch propellers through two shots. With this propulsion system, the ship can move at the maximum speed of up to 33 knots and a maximum range of 6,000 nautical miles. Kilang class destroyers are equipped with a naval tactical data system, integrates various subsystems, and collects data from onboard and off ship sensors. The received data is processed, and information about the air targets is transferred to weapon systems for engagement. The Taiwan warship is equipped with a range of modern sensors, including SPS 48E air search radar, 
is a long-range three-dimensional air shot radar system that provides contact range, bearing, and high information to be displayed on concerns. There is also SPG-60 gunfire control radar, SPS-55 surface shot radar, SPQ-9A gunfire control radar, and an SQS-53D bow-mounted shot and track sonar. The ship's electronic warfare suite is ansrq 32 Airbot 2 This system is equipped with four deck mounted super rapid blooming off board track motor type launchers to deceive homing missiles. Kilang's weapon system is quite powerful, with the main guns are two Mark 45 127mm dual purpose guns. Along with that, are two Mark 26 structures for RIM 66 SM2MR Block 3 a medium range surface to air missile. SM2MR missile has a range of 167 km, speed of Mark 3.5. The operation ceiling up to 22,800 meters. Each of the two systems is placed in the bow and stern respectively. The Keylang is also fitted with two 20mm phalanx closing weapon systems for voice defense. The closing weapon system can fire 3,000 to 4,500 rounds per minute for an effective range of 3.6 km. The most notable weapon of the Keylang destroyer is eight RGM-84 Harpoon missiles ranged in two clusters of four Mark 141 launcher tubes. Harpoon is an all-weather, over-the-horizon missile that can be launched against surface targets. The missiles have a range of 124 km, cruise that marks 0 0.8, and carry a 221 kg squared. For anti-submarines, Kilang is equipped with two Mark 32 324mm triple torpedo tubes for six Mark 46 torpedoes. This is a light anti-submarine torpedo with a range of 11 km, a working depth of 365 meters, a speed of 74 km per hour, and carrying a 43.9 kg squared. Kilang is the only one of her sister ships to be equipped with LAMS-3 system and flight deck strengthened. This enables Kilang to carry up to two of the more capable Sikorsky S-70 Seahawk helicopters for anti-submarine warfare compared to her sister ships. Currently, Kilang and her sisters are the largest and most powerful surface warships of the Taiwanese Navy. My video of Kirang Destroyer ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again.